keto people. So I'm gonna be making my own version of deviled eggs today, which is not even a version. I mean, honestly, everyone knows how to make deviled eggs, but in case you don't, or for some reason you were curious about my obsession of deviled eggs, this is basically how I make it. So I have 11 eggs in here total, so it's 22 eggs. I already separated the yolks. You know, I put them in for about 15 or 15, 17 minutes on boil, and then I just turned it off and then put the cover on it for a little while, and then I dumped out the water, put in cold water for a little bit, and then stuck them in the fridge. That's all I did, and of course, I get a little bit of the, the gray around there. I don't care, the taste is the same, I think, anyway. Um, and the, the other problem that I have is that um, I usually just do it by taste, so I never do it by measurements, so I might have to add stuff to this. By the way, this is not Fabinet's, this is my homemade mayo, um, if you haven't seen how to make it. By the way, it's a base. I kind of added, a I have to add a little bit extra than what I put in that video um, of vinegar and lemon juice and stuff, but still. Okay, so I'm just going to attempt to right now, okay, that is, that's one tablespoon, two tablespoons, Three, this is right now three tablespoons, which I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to add another one. Three tablespoons of that, and I'm just gonna eyeball this, but I think around a teaspoon. Yeah, a teaspoon of just regular yellow mustard. And then believe it or not, I put in a little bit of um, pickle juice just to get that vinegar taste in there. You really don't taste the pickle juice, and this is probably this is probably a fourth of a teaspoon. Maybe I'll probably add more to that. And then on the salt, um, I'm going to say an eighth of a teaspoon. You know, the problem is if you oversalt these, they're really bad. I'm just going to do a couple of dashes of the, um, what is this coming out? Yes. <laughs> Uh, the um, salt substitute, which is good for the potassium if you're not getting enough potassium in there. Um, and then a little, just a few dashes of ooh, <laughs> black pepper. Okay, I'm gonna hopefully see, I mean, maybe this will take one go, but I guarantee you that's not enough mayonnaise. I'm already figuring that out. How many was that? Was that three? Okay, so let me go ahead and it's probably gonna be about five. This is four, a little bit. And five. Okay. I don't want y'all to be sitting here watching me doing this and not really. You know, I had the video go for an extended period of time. And so, I mean, the consistency is going good. Um, whenever I took the yolks out, I, I, you know, obviously you use a fork to just mash them up. I don't mind the big chunks. Okay, now once again, this is just me, so I'm probably gonna be double dipping with my spoons and all that, but it's just me. Mm. That had pickle juice on it. Hold on, let me see. More mustard for sure. Mayonnaise is, I think, pretty good. Might need a little bit more, but okay, so that was one teaspoon. I'm probably thinking another half a teaspoon. Give that a whirl. I think the pickle juice was right on the money there. Actually, I might double up on the mustard because usually when it's in the, the um, it, it's bland, like after a little while, and then I have to put mustard on the top of them. Okay. Pretty good. Okay, instead of, we're doing two teaspoons then total, because this is gonna be another half a teaspoon. So two teaspoons and five, five and a half, five and a half tablespoons of mayo. And I think we're good to go here. I kind of, I, I promised y'all that I would do this. Um, then I realized I don't have a dang recipe for it. Yep, that's it. Maybe add a little bit of mustard and you're good to go. So that's five and a half tablespoons of homemade mayo um, and then two, te two teaspoons of mustard, some um, pickle juice, salt, pepper. You're good to go. Hey guys, so I want to show you the final product. Here it is. I've already taken a little bite because it's super yummy. Um, 
So I've I added that little bit of um, extra mustard and it's super good. Mmm. Mmm. See, I make these um, ahead of time and then I have them with the um, turkey lettuce wrap sandwiches that, that I do. Or I'd have them with that chicken Caesar wrap that I did um, in this previous video. Um, and so, I, or I'll have them with chicken thighs or anything. So I just make them up way ahead of time. Anyway, that's all the time I have. I will see you next time. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you soon.